experience. Good morning, everyone. You know, it's no secret that St. Vincent and the Grenadines is one of our favorite places in the whole wide world. It sure is, and that is the reason why we spent six months here on this beautiful island, and today, I'm gonna show you why. Let's jump right into it and start with number one. We're going to assume you're staying on the mainland of St. Vincent. Let's start with exploring the city of Arches, Kingstown, the capital. We had an awesome time walking around and admiring the arch buildings while enjoying the Caribbean vibes. You won't believe how busy this little capital can get. Here you can witness firsthand how unique the Vinci culture is. Wooden stalls line the sidewalks and some streets, with vendors selling everything from fresh fruits and vegetables to bread and pastries. Make sure you take a walk down Middle Street. There you will find pretty much everything else, and I mean everything else. Now let's talk food. In Kingstown, there is no shortage of eateries. When it comes to food, you won't be disappointed. We enjoyed eating at our favorite restaurant, The Stoplight, but we also ate from local food street vendors. In our last video, we enjoyed a local breakfast while sitting and watching Kingstown literally come alive, and later on had some of the best barbecue we've ever tasted at Big Ron's BBQ. In fact, feel free to embark on your very own food tour. We did. The food is cheap and delicious. We spent an entire day tasting some of St. Vincent's local dishes like Kalaloo and Blackfish. And don't forget to try Snow Cold, Kenny's favorite treat, highly recommended. Moving on to number two on our list, the Botanical Gardens. It is located about one mile from the capital of Kingstown along the Leewood Highway. It is open every day from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. The Botanical Gardens is one point of interest you should not miss. It is one of the oldest in the Western Hemisphere. It is home to a wealth of tropical plants, flowers, and many unique species of trees, such as the cannonball tree. Here, you will also be able to see up close the colorful St. Vincent parrot, the Amazona galdivii. It is actually the island's national bird and the inspiration for the flag's colors. It was such a lovely experience. Next on our list is number three, Fort Charlotte. Fort Charlotte is a historic fort that is located to the west of Kingstown and perched at 600 feet overlooking the capital. Here you can take in the views of Kingstown, the Grenadine Islands, and the surrounding mountains. Like many other places in St. Vincent, Fort Charlotte exceeded our expectations. This is where you can end your day by taking in a beautiful sunset. And if you're as lucky as we were, a beautiful rainbow as well. Number four and one of our favorite places on the island is Oria Saw Ponds. It is the most breathtaking natural swimming pool in the world. It is located on the northern tip of the Windward side of St. Vincent and it's about an hour and a half drive from Kingstown. The drive is very scenic with the view of the coastline. You will see stretches of black sand beaches and on a clear day a view of St. Lucia. Definitely an enjoyable ride. It's going to cost you 5 EC to enter the park. There you will have access to restrooms, showers, gazebos, picnic area, and several food vendors. From the park, it's a short walk down 217 steps to the pools. Once there, you can enjoy swimming in the crystal clear waters of the pools as ginormous waves break over the volcanic rocks and feed the pond. These ponds are such a unique and stunning place. We spent several hours swimming and jumping into the pool as the waves rolled in. It was such a fun day. Number five is for all you waterfall lovers. There are several waterfalls in St. Vincent, but we chose Darkview Falls because it was easy to get to and has two spectacular waterfalls one above the other. 
Darkview Falls is an hour and a half drive up the Leewood Coast from Kingstown. It is open Monday through Sunday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. You will pay a $5 easy entrance fee, which includes parking. From there, it's a short and easy hike to the first waterfall. You have to cross a river on a bamboo bridge to get to the first waterfall. The water was super cold, but refreshing. The hike to the second waterfall was short and a bit more difficult, but definitely worth it since it was so beautiful and lush with all the pretty pink flowers and the elephant ear plants. We also enjoyed the beautiful views along the trail. Finally, we reached the top and enjoyed the natural pool. Our time there was cut short. You have to view that river to see why. Moving along to number six, which is one of the more popular things to do on the island and was one of our favorites, and that is to hike La Sufre. We hiked this volcano twice, once before the eruption and the second time was just a few weeks ago. The volcano rises 4,048 feet above sea level. La Sufre is St. Vincent's highest peak. It is still very active and it last erupted in April 2021, luckily with no fatalities. To reach the crater, you can start your hike on the Windward Trail. It is easier and more popular than the Leeward Trail. We highly recommend a guide. The Windward Trail takes three to four hours round trip. Along the way, you will enjoy walking through the bamboo groves, crossing riverbeds, the cloud forest, and spectacular views of the surrounding countryside. Once at the top, you'll have a chance to explore the crater. It literally feels like you're on another planet. It's an experience you won't forget. Number seven is beach hopping. Did you know that St. Vincent has different color sand beaches? You would want to experience all of them. Beach hopping on this Caribbean island is like no other. Sunshine and sandy toes, mmm, yes. From sparkly white sand to the exotic black sand beaches, you will enjoy the warm breeze, palm trees, and crystal clear waters. You can take in sunrises on the windward side and sunsets on the leeward. Beach hopping here is an incredible experience. This is something you don't want to miss. Number eight. Now let's talk Grenadines. These tiny paradise islands set St. Vincent apart from the rest of the Caribbean. If you have time, we highly recommend island hopping. The beaches are to die for. And getting to the Grenadines Islands could not have been made any easier for you. Just hop on a ferry to any of these beautiful islands. You can go as far as Union Island. And from there you can take a water taxi to have a drink on Happy Island or spend some time on Mopian. You can go snorkeling the Tobago Cays or just sunbathe on any of the many pristine beaches. Our favorite beach in the world is Salt Whistle Bay and the bite-sized island of Myro. To see more of these islands, check out our St. Vincent Grenadine series. We cover them all, from Young Island to Union Island. That is why we love St. Vincent and the Grenadines. If you want to see more of our experiences here on the island, make sure you click on one of the link above. And guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. Consider subscribing if you haven't already, and please share with a friend. We'll see you next week. See ya.